Hello, what's up you guys, YouTube, welcome to my video. <laughs> In this video, I would like to demonstrate to you how to use a comb and a plastic bag as music instruments. Yes, that is right. That is very clear what I'm saying that you can use your hair comb, a simple hair comb like this one. I use a small hair comb. If you don't have a small hair comb, you could use a bigger one yeah, that you already have. It doesn't matter the size. The other things that you use is this simple plastic bag like this. I have this plastic bag with a, with a thin material and a pouching like this. Like when you go watching a FBI movie, they use it for like <laughs> an evidence compartment. So this this is the two things that you need before you use it. You might wanna make sure everything is like clean, the plastic and also the comb, because you don't want to bring any dirt or any dirty things goes into or onto your mouth because when you, you use it you can attach this directly to your mouth especially to your lips okay here we go so the first thing that you want to do is like simply put the comb inside the plastic bag like that and if you see here the comb is already inside the plastic bag this is the reason why I, I like using a plastic bag rather than a sheet of plastic or a paper because when you use a sheet of a plastic or when you use I see other people using a paper a piece of paper you have to like fold it like this but when you use this pouching thing like you just have to simply put it inside and you are ready to go Okay, after everything is ready to go, the comb is inside the plastic bag safely and secure. To make a sound from it, you simply just blow it. But to blow this instrument, if you want to call it that way, you're not gonna blowing it like you're blowing a horn or a flute, like you blow it with your air like that, like foo foo foo. No, it's, it is not gonna work that way. When you're using a comb as an instrument, you want to blow it with your sound. When you produce a sound like foo or a two, you're doing it while you are attaching your lips onto the surface of the plastic bag. That's why at the beginning I say you want to make sure everything is clean because you're going to attach the plastic bag like onto your lips. Okay, I will show you a short demonstration of how you use it. Like when I'm producing a sound like this What I simply do is like I'm producing a sound for myself Like I go While doing that I am attaching my lips Onto the surface of this plastic bag That you already stretch like this you make sure everything is like flat on the surface of the comb but you don't want to stretch it like you want to pull it like everything goes stiff and everything because you want the when you say two like that you produce the sound you basically vibrate your lips and the, you vibrate also the plastic if you like stretch it too much like you pull it uh, it will not gonna vibrate easy so let's try this one more time I'm gonna use my two or foo with a higher pitch like when you go with the lower pitch like two it, it is not gonna work the the lips and the plastic will not vibrate like let me demonstrate to you like that but if you go to the higher pitch to the higher notes or maybe your falsetto sound will do uh, perfectly in this instruments like you know what the falsetto sounds is like like this is my sound my normal sound when I use falsetto sound it's it gonna sound like this it is my falsetto sound like this and this is my normal sound like this like there you go so you I think you understand the difference like the falsetto sounds like the higher 
or maybe the highest pitch you can ever have I don't know the theory of music but this is like that is what gonna work with this uh, comb instrument let's just try it again I'm gonna use my higher pitch I'm gonna attach the already stretch the flat surface of the plastic on the surface of the comb I'm gonna attach it to my lips like this make sure you're not pressing it too hard because when you're pressing it too hard it also will not vibrate you wanna like attach like slowly and like the tut, tut, like that you wanna attach it like just wanna touch it like when you poo poo like it's gonna vibrate like that okay here we go So here's the tip that you might want to remember when you are trying this comb instrument for the first time is that the notes that come out from yourself is the note that gonna come out in the instruments like if you are already a good singer like you 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 can produce a, a good tone this one gonna benefit you a lot I cannot sing like but if you can sing like you don't have to have a pretty voice or a perfect voice but if you understand like the notes and the tonal the up and down this one will work best on you who can sing because the notes that you are producing in this instrument is the note that is came out from yourself so if you can sing you definitely have a more advantage situation than those of you who might not able to sing very well because the notes that came out from the music the instruments like this is the exact same note that you produce with your sound like when you're singing uh mi fa sola shido it can uh, like this like that dore mi fa sola shido you if you do it perfectly while singing you will do just fine in the in the comb instrument like that like that so when you first try it you might not gonna produce a, a good sound like um, you might only hear your sound like <laughs> like that the thing you want to do is like else then you're practicing this is what I do when I attach the the comb I am not attaching it to the center of my mouth like this no I'm attaching it to the like this is my right side of the, my lips like that so that when I attach it in the right side the left side is quite open like when you you can vibrate the lips and the plastic bag you can have a, a bigger surface area of the plastic and the lip that vibrating together like that Compare it like to do it on the middle. It also vibrates like, but the vibration is goes to the left and to the right. Like it gonna split into two. You're not gonna have a focused sound like when you go the like this. So that is the tip for me you're not gonna make a sound that you like in the first try you just have to try it and try it again until you make a good vibe out of it like any other instruments you need a practice and a lot of practice because with practice there come perfection like any other instruments you might gonna stumble at first but in the day or two like maybe if you practice a lot it will works out you will get a decent sound in like a day or two like that so i hope this video is helpful for you like if you wanna try to make a performance out of a unique instrument this this thing might just work for you if you wanna go like a school performance or you want to go 
with a street performance. If you can sing, you certainly have the advantage if you use your singing skill with this Kong instruments. So I hope you can take a benefit out of this video. If you like it, you might want to press the like button over there. And thank you for watching um, from the beginning till the end. So this is signing out. Thank you.